So I'm not ashamed to tell you that the tip I'm going to share with you today is something that I stole off one of my mentors, Martin Hall, who you can find on the Golf Channel. And it's to do with your short game and just a couple of things to think about and using a ruler just to help you. So first thing is really to do with the grip. So if you take the ruler, it's important with your short game shots. And an error that we see is when the handle is leaning so far forward, the, the left hand for a right-handed golfer tends to sit too much on top. The right hand then gets a little too much underneath, so a strong grip if you like, causing the face of the club to take a lot of loft off. So it's important that we use what we would essentially refer to as a neutral grip. So holding the ruler out in front of you, bring that left hand again for the right-handed players onto the front side of the handle. Bring the back side, uh, sorry, the right hand then more onto the back side of the handle so we're not getting underneath bringing him onto the, the back of the handle there. So these two palms just face each other when placed on the handle of the club. A nice neutral grip to help us deliver the correct loft. Now, once we've done that, the next thing then that we want to just take a little look at is how the club face would work. So if you were to take the start position, the front of the ruler here, and we just swing back, and we're sort of halfway back. If I were to turn and look at the ruler, I can now see the writing on the front of the ruler. What that would show you is I haven't closed this club face too much. Too many players, again, when playing these shorter pitch shots, would take the club face back very close where the face of the club is looking too much down to the ground. If we go this way, you'll see as we just swing back, little rehearsal with my neutral grip, and can I now see the front of the ruler, keeping the loft on that golf club so we can pop the ball up and into the air. And once we're happy with the grip and we've got the club face organized, just thinking about how the wrist can work in the swing with these shorter shots. So I could move the wrist this way, if you like, on a horizontal. But again, our problem with this motion is how that tends to pull the golf club inside and close the face. We really want to see that the wrist would work a little bit more in a vertical motion. You can see when I do this, if I hold down a little lower, you'll notice that the end of the ruler here just stays in between my arms so that when I start the swing, I can get this club moving back, the ruler in between my arms, then just start this little vertical hinging of the wrist as we carry on turning. And the ruler's still in between my arms. It'll pop out at some point, but that tends to be a little later on. Too many players almost immediately start the backswing by pulling that club in. So using a ruler, three things. Double check the grip. Let's make sure that we get the hands on the club correctly. Let's make sure that we can just see that club face as we're going back and understanding that the wrists are going to be working in this vertical manner, this up and down manner, as opposed to this way. You don't really want to get that club face too close and getting it too inside. Give this a little go, some nice thoughts for you there when you're next practicing your short game.